Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Java tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how we can compile and run Java code from the command line. So let's begin. This tutorial, I am using a very simple program here and uh, this program will print this is Java tutorial by testing funda. So if you don't know about what is public class, and what is public static void mean so don't worry about these things so as we progress in these tutorials we will learn each and everything in detail so right now just understand is that this program will print this is java tutorial by testing funda right so now what we need to do is that i'll copy this code from here and i will create one folder on my desktop and I will name this folder as Java Learning. Okay. And under this folder, I will create a file. So I'll go with the yeah, document. And I will place this Java code here. And I will just save this file. Now I will save this file as as hello world because uh, my code is basically written uh, here as a hello world. So I will copy this one from here and save this as hello world. But at the same time what we need to do is that we need to provide the extension which is dot java. And we will save this here. And let me close this one here. Also minimize this one. So here we have a source file, Java source file, and this file contains our code. So if I open this file in any editor, so it will show the same code here. Okay. Now we need to execute this code, but before that, we need to compile this code. So we need to open the terminal here and Bring my fluent terminal here and we need to go to this directory so cd desktop and cd java learning and so we have this hello world dot java file right now we need to compile this file for that we need to write java C and this complete file name that is hello world dot java okay? and we need to press enter so it will compile the code if you don't see anything happens here this means compilation got successfully done else it will show some errors here right and now Furthermore, how we can confirm that our code got compiled successfully, we need to go back to that folder and you will see that now we have byte file generated, which is dot class. And as if you remember, we talked that byte class is something which we cannot read. So we need to open this file and see what happens. So you can see that this is some kind of a code which we cannot read. So th this is a byte code which can only be understandable by the machine, right? Now we need to run this code because now it is compiled and now we can execute this code. So what we need to do is that we need to type Java space hello world and that's it you need to press enter so you can see that our code got executed and it's printed this is java tutorial by testing funda now let me go back to the folder here and if i remove this file from here which is a compiled version and and if now i try to run this java hello world now let's see what happens so it says that could not find or load the main class hello world caused by this and this is the reason because it's not compiled and again let me compile this file 
it got compiled now and let me go back to java hello world and it will print this one so this proves that we need to compile our java code before we need to execute this code and on the back end uh, interpreter is involved and interpreter is giving line by line code so fastly to the machine that we are not able to see any kind of a delay in the output and we just instantly see the output and the output of this particular java code was this is java tutorial by Dustin Fenda. thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much we hope that you have learned something today see you in the next tutorial